My area of research is in the search for supersymmetry. These, this is a, a theory which extends the standard model, which is our current best uh, theory of how particles interact at the smallest distances. Um, and it, its main prediction is that we should be able to produce all sorts of new particles at the Large Hadron Collider. And supersymmetry predicts that these particles should be more massive than those of the standard model. So the further we can extend the energy reach of the LHC, the more we can explore the possibilities for these particles. So one of the problems that supersymmetry could resolve is the mystery of dark matter. So this is something where that astronomers and cosmologists tell us that uh, there's an additional source of gravity in the universe which cannot be attributed to things we can see, the stars, the nebulae and other things like that. And so at the moment this has the mysterious name dark matter. Um, I think that's at least partly because we don't really know what it is. Uh, it's quite reasonable to think that it's a particle of a kind that we could potentially produce at the LHC and supersymmetry, or at least some forms of supersymmetry, can, uh, could explain uh, that, that matter and, and uh, predict its properties. So the main problem, if you ask most physicists, I, I think, that supersymmetry would explain is the mass of the Higgs boson. With the standard model as it stands, we cannot explain why the Higgs boson has the mass it has. It should be many, many times, many, many times heavier than it actually is. Supersymmetry would provide a very neat solution to that problem, but it remains to be seen whether that's the correct solution or not. And that's why we need to look for it. If we don't find supersymmetry at the LHC, then all's not lost necessarily. There are other theories which could also explain this problem of, of the Higgs boson mass. But theoretically, we have no explanation of what mechanism could stop its mass increasing to exceedingly large values, almost without bound, it seems. And this theoretical problem is the, the primary driver behind uh, thinking that something like supersymmetry should be present there at energies that we can reach at the LHC.